Hi everyone, I'm Yulia Panchenko. I'm a wedding and boudoir photographer based in Florida, United States, and welcome to my studio. A week ago, I posted a video where I talked about how you can find a boudoir model for your boudoir project. And if you haven't watched it yet, please click on the link above or check in the description area. Actually, when I was doing the video, I was searching for a model for today's shoot and I found a couple of options. I reached out to them, they were all interested, but because it was a short notice, uh, they were all booked and uh, we planned for the next time. I got in touch with a model that I used to work before. Her name is Jennifer and um, she was available for today. So we're gonna do the shoot uh, with Jennifer. And Jennifer, she is a professional model. She's been modeling for six years and she's also an instructor for a modeling agency. Jennifer is gonna be here in, in a moment, but before she walks in, let me show you what we prepared for her uh, and what uh, setup I have for, uh, for the shoot. So here I prepared some uh, a cheese platter for Jennifer, some fruit, I have uh, different wine options for her and chocolates. I always treat my models like my clients. I want them to be happy during the shoot and I prepare usually options with less calories, I would say, because I know they're always on a diet and um, they eat only healthy options. So I have some fruit and cheese for them. And let me show you the setup for today's shoot. Here, what I prepared uh, for the shoot, for the session, is this cute little chair and a bench that we're gonna use as well. And I'm gonna do only 10 poses, uh, just so it won't be overwhelming for you guys, and you could learn good those 10 poses and see my posing flow. Jennifer is going to be here any minute and before she comes, I would love to also show you my lingerie option that I prepared for her. Uh, I put them all on a rack over here and when she comes over, we'll decide what to use. We're waiting for Jennifer. She's going to be here any minute. I saw her parking. Yeah, there she is. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, so good nice to, to see, see you. Again. Yeah, you look beautiful. Thank Let you so me look much. at your hair and makeup. You did such a good job. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you like to drink? Oh my god. I have, have some. Such a pretty setting over here. Yes, as always. I have yeah. some wine, I have water, I have tea and coffee. What would you like to you start with? Some wine. Some Sounds wine? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have Zinfandel and Moscato, and I have pink Moscato wow. or Moscato Dusty. Oh, Zin Zinfandel. Okay. How is it going? It's so good. How are you? I'm excited about today's shoot. Oh, so am I. Can't yeah, wait. I love working with you. <laughs> Our last shoot was amazing. It really was. It really mm. got a lot of attention. Thank you so much. Yeah, we can. Um, talk a little bit of what we're doing uh, okay. before we start and this is the setup that we're going to do for the shoot and uh, we are doing approximately 10 poses today and in a very nice flow we will start from uh, the chair and then we'll do some poses on the bench um, and let's see I prepared some uh, lingerie option I'm so uh, sad that the the ones that you ordered haven't arrived yet. I know. But at least it's good that we have something here in the studio. Let's we take a look. To improvise. Um, <laughs> usually works out. Yeah, yeah, maybe next time. Yeah. So this is what I have, and let's take a look. And this is a red option. It's beautiful. Very great. Mm -hmm. Do you think it will look good with that? With a wall. Probably we will skip this for today, and or maybe we will use it for yeah. uh, the other setup. So pretty. And uh, I also have this. I like the this is pretty. Yeah, I love lace, so oh, that would look gorgeous. <laughs> I am you. a lace type of girl. <laughs> yeah. So I have the white, and you tell me what you like the most. Oh, that's really pretty. So oh, let's I'll see. I also have this one. I love how the back looks on this. That one's similar to the first one, but I think. Yeah. But just the, the first back one has more, yeah, more open. Mm -hmm. more and open I like space. the texture of it, and I like yeah. this 
on the back. I think it looks it's gonna look, it look stretchy. Pretty. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so. Alright, so this is num option number four. Ooh, that looks so cool. mm -hmm. And um, let's pick something that you would be comfortable with. I mean, I know that when that we were discussing the shoot and the video, we were talking about like that romantic boudoir feel, and I feel like that should be lace. Yeah, and, right. I, and I love lace. It yeah. works perfectly for boudoir shoes. Yeah. Um, how about this one? Ooh, that one's pretty. And if you have you brought anything like any black yeah, uh, panties? So yeah, I think we were, we were gonna do multiple looks. Anyway, right? Yes, yeah. we okay. can we can do two looks and um, what if we start with something like that that is uh, less revealing so mm -hmm. you would be more comfortable uh, and we you can you can wear something like that for posing uh, for five six poses and then yeah. we will uh, move switch to something else what do you yeah. think really what what yeah starting out first with this and then I think this one's really cool, especially because it has a push-up bra and it's, you know, like, it just looks really cool, but since we were talking about the door, I think I want to go with one of the lacy mm -hmm. black ones, probably this one, just because it looks like it's more stretchy and it has more back and I, nice. and I'm I happy. like to show off some skin and it's the door. So. Good, and I'm happy that you picked <laughs> this I option because this I think one. this is my favorite so far. Yeah. This and this, I think it looks really pretty. Okay, and that's that background. The, awesome. So I'll give you these two options that we picked. Uh, you can go ahead and change in the changing room. I'll oh, help you with thank that. Thank you so much. Okay, and I'll uh, see right over there. Uh, yes, please. Okay. And I'll see you in a minute. While Jennifer is changing, I would like to show you what I'm shooting with today. And I have my camera over here. This is Nikon D850 with the lens 7200 2.8. I'm gonna change my lens during the shoot. I also shoot with 50 for my boudoir, um, but I think I'll start with this one. Uh, also, we are doing uh, something different today. I'm using this cool light that you can see over here. This is Stella Pro Continuous Light by Light and Motion. Uh, what is cool about this is facing up right now just because we want to eliminate more light uh, during the uh, video shoot. And, uh, but what is cool about this light, because it's continuous, you can clearly see where the shadows and highlights fall on your subject's body. And uh, especially if you're a beginner and you just started doing uh, boudoir photography or in-studio photography or you always use natural light but you want to try artificial light this is a very good light scenario for you to uh, to learn about um, how to use light it's facing up and my face is pretty lit up and let me turn it off and you can see uh, my face became dark I'm going to use this Stella Pro with my Elinchrome Strip box. So it's right here. And I added grid just to have control over direction of my light. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Have a seat, I'll be ready in a moment. I just set up my Elinchrom Rotolux strip box and I'm gonna move it closer to my setup. And I'll ask Jennifer to join us. I always position my light uh, sideways so just to create some beautiful um, definition on my subject's body. And uh, Jennifer looks absolutely beautiful. Do you mind if we just move your hair a little, mess it up, yeah. Just a little bit, fluff it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So I'll fix this over here. Perfect. 
Oh, you look gorgeous. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start from the chair. And what I want you to do is uh, you're gonna sit on the chair facing the wall. And while you do that, uh, I want you to put place one of your legs forward. Yeah, right there. That's pretty beautiful. And another foot I want you to touch. Yeah, the, yeah, that's perfect. And with your hands uh, crossing, or let's do it this way. Yeah, yeah, that's that's beautiful. Okay, let me grab my camera really quick. I'm gonna test uh, the light first. Okay, give me just a second. Yes, I want you to turn your face a tiny bit towards the light. Yeah, that would work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. On your toes. Yeah. And one more time. I'm gonna adjust my light and settings really quick. Yes, I love it. Very good. So uh, another thing that I would like you to do, keep in mind, when you're sitting on the chair, uh, keep all the weight on your hips uh, rather than on your booty. This way, yeah, it will, um, yes, that just like that. It will make it look, it, it doesn't flatten it, it looks uh, more beautiful. That's pretty. One more time. And let me fix your hair really quick. And here for this pose is very important because that's what we're getting. And beautiful curls. And also, sorry. And I want you to uh, also uh, do the video from from where I'm photographing so uh, my viewers could see the pose clearly. And here is the tag, I think, or no, I will Photoshop that. Okay, you look gorgeous, just keep the pose. Yeah, her toes are pointed, that's beautiful. A little bit that foot closer to the leg of the chair. Just, yeah, right, no, yeah, that's enough, yeah, just like that. Um, I like how soft your hands are. Close your eyes for a second and chin a little bit away from your uh, shoulder. Yeah, that's pretty. Hold it just like that. One, two, three. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I just did my test shot and Jennifer looks absolutely gorgeous on, my, uh, on all of my shots. And I'm gonna tell you what exactly I did and uh, what my lighting setup looks like. Um, so, uh, here again I'm using uh, Stella Pro Lighten by Lighten Motion and it's on 100% power. I want to turn it off for you guys to see the difference. So, this is when the light is on, her face is beautifully lit and we have um, light coming uh, behind Jennifer that actually creates a problem for us because the light is behind her um, when we turn it off we cannot clearly see um, her face it is in shadow so we the best the good solution for that is to add a light that is a key light for her right now for her face so we're adding light illuminating her beautiful face and her body from the side and this is what my image looks like we have beautiful highlights on her face uh, you can see them clearly on um, on her leg and we have some highlights on her bottom over here I think the shot looks gorgeous and Jennifer is doing amazing it's really easy to work with her I've done two shoots already and this is my third one and I, every time I do shoot with her I really enjoyed it. So let's continue. Um, 
We will do the same pose. We will just you. I will ask you to move your arms. So just place your hand over here, touching your hair, and one maybe over here, touching the shoulder. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's beautiful. Just hold it like that. Okay, don't move. Very good. Uh, now I'm gonna move around. Just I'm, uh, I will change my angle and photograph you from different angles. So it's the same pose. You can do the same uh, position of your arms. Yeah, extend them a little bit. And since I'm moving and changing my angle, the shot is gonna look completely different. Again, very important uh, is her hair. Details are always important, so pay attention to those details like hair, hands, uh, toes. Yeah, that's pretty. Hold it just like that. Gorgeous. Close your eyes, breathe through your mouth. I love it. Beautiful. I'll change my orientation as well. Beautiful. Okay, relax. From here, we will change the pose. Uh, I will keep uh, position of my light and the same. I'll just uh, move my chair facing me. So let's move it this way. So it's similar pose, but you're gonna face me. So I have to move my light a little bit closer, yeah, over here. Perfect. And this light allows me to actually ask uh, my model to either face one or another direction. And so even if she faced this way, she, her face is still going to be lit, uh, pretty lit up. Okay. I'll give you your wine. We will add some props. <laughs> to the shoot. Let me fix your hair. And it's not gonna be visible. Yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, just like that. I want you to lift your leg a little bit. Bring them both, for, like, yeah, touching. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. And on your tippy toes. Okay, that's beautiful. Look to the side, just like that, yeah. Relax that hand, yeah, I, I, li I like that. Yeah, hold it just like that. And look back at me. Chin down a little bit, perfect. Yeah, I like that. Gorgeous. I'm gonna move this away. Okay, I'm gonna show you the pose because it's a little bit diffi difficult to, uh, to implement. But so what you have to do is place, uh, bend one of your knees and you're gonna place it on the chair closer to, um, to the, what is that called? <laughs> to the back of the chair. <laughs> and then you're gonna extend this leg and uh, either you bend your arms a little bit like that or you also keep them straight. So it, it's up whatever is more comfortable for you. You're gonna look straight at the wall and your toes have to be pointy and this uh, foot should kind of like hug the, the leg. Yeah, just like that. Arch your back and um, keep in mind when you're doing this pose, usually when you extend your leg, this bottom goes a little bit lower than this side. So I want you to lift it up and we'll try to do it uh, faster because not an easy pose. And it's going to be, my light is going to be right here let's give it a try 
Okay, let me see. Uh, yes, like this. Uh, relax this this foot. Relax it. Yes, yeah, relaxed. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Relax it. Mm -hmm. And now, so e either your ha your arms should be straight, or you can bend them. So what if you bend your elbows and lean forward? Would no, 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 just like that. Oh, uh, okay. Would that be more comfortable? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Then you have to keep them straight. Yeah. Okay. Let me try. Now try to uh, lift. Yeah, the yeah, right there. Uh -huh, perfect. Okay. One, two, three. One more time. Try to do that again. Okay, I want you to relax, relax. So let me show you what we're getting so you would understand what has to be fixed. Uh, I want the, the legs to be closer, yeah. And you see how they are not very pro like proportional. So either just because it's not close enough to another leg, that creates, and don't worry about the foot, just keep it straight. Yeah, maybe that also makes it. Another thing for this shot, uh, because she was barefoot all the time, um, her feet got a little bit dirty, and that's really difficult to fix in post. So I'm gonna uh, yeah, clean it first. You, you stay here, I'll bring the towel. And we're gonna fix that. I always have um, baby wipes, makeup uh, remover, cleansing, towels, everything ready for my clients and my models. So I hope. Happen in shoots. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and when yeah, then we it's it's just for once that specific shot that would be visible. I always love to move my furniture around and it is never, my setup is never the same. Uh, so one day this couch can stay here, one day over here. It uh, actually helps me to create different setups, different moods and for the shoot that I do. And I'm used to lifting and moving things during the shoot and yeah, what can we do? We have to. Stop stealing my chocolates. What uh, is really cool about uh, this continuous light is that you can clearly see where the shadows and highlights fall by just moving the light. You don't have to click 300 times on your shutter to do trial and errors to realize where your light has to be. So just by moving here, light here and there, you can see how it sculpts your uh, subject's body. Or when you're turning it off, you can see that there is only light highlight a little bit from um, my other ambient light that I have here. But when you turn it on, you can clearly see the big highlight and on her body. Okay, so let's um, do the shot. Yes, uh, and try to, what if you, let me see how you do that. What if you bring, so relax this foot, don't touch it, just like that, straight, okay? And this can go e even closer to, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm and extend another one yes perfect don't uh, relax this side relax don't move it up too much 
and yeah let's try it that way yeah that's perfect i think that that looks good already let's try it okay and i'm gonna uh, photograph from a lower angle just to to make her body looks even taller that's beautiful okay and what is very important for this shot is to point her toes because when we're pointing toes we make automatically body taller by probably this much and when i'm uh, doing a lower angle her body looks even taller so it makes it even more flattering okay relax i know that's a difficult pose <laughs> thank you jennifer let me check if i got what i need and i'll show you as well I will probably position the chair a little bit in a different angle and we can try to do that again. Um, what do you think? I like it, but we yeah. can try it. It's just the, the position of the chair that is bothering me right now, what I see as my background. Uh, let's just try facing yeah, this way. And can you face straight to the wall? Like, so you see how you're angled a little bit? So I want you to be straight. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm, perfect. Hold it. That's beautiful. One more time. One, two, three. Gorgeous. All right, now we will move to the bench. Uh, let's move the chair away and I'll move my light as well. And actually, before we move to the bench, let's change. Yeah, let's do the, another outfit. Mm -hmm. So while she's changing, I'm gonna bring my bench back and set up everything for the second shot for the second part of the session. And my model is almost ready. She looks beautiful. And uh, by the way, cable shouldn't be here and it's, uh, it's very dangerous to have this long cable in the studio, but my uh, I was using my lights uh, outdoor and the battery wasn't completely charged. I'm gonna, uh, now since it's 100% uh, charged, I am gonna remove the cable and move it away just for the safety purposes. And I'll be using the light just uh, without any cable. Okay, okay Jennifer, you ready? Oh, you're so pretty. I love this outfit on you. One yeah. of my favorites. <laughs> yes, looks perfect. Have a seat over here. Uh, we will continue on the same side of the studio and for um, for the posing we will use this cute bench. I love it. It's one of my most popular uh, furniture items that I use in the studio because you can uh, come up with so many different poses and we'll start from simple poses and then continue with something more complicated and I know Jennifer can do them easily so uh, let's sit on the bench facing the light yes uh, what if you sit on your knees so sit on the knees just like that yeah it's gonna be a very simple pose okay perfect yeah that's beautiful and again, my light is just like over here, sideways facing, um, facing Jennifer's face, creating beautiful highlight on her face and on her arms. And let's do it. So bend your arm 
Mm -hmm. One of your arms and another one can go right into your hair. Yeah, that's pretty. Just like that. Hold it. Let me move a little bit away. I love it. Hold it. One, two, three. Beautiful. So uh, place it kind of into your hair, like you're touching your hair. Yeah. Gorgeous. A uh, little bit less because I see them becoming a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. Or let me fix it first. So somewhere here. Yeah, so I won't see. Yeah. Right there is fine. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Close your eyes completely. Beautiful. And now um, move your hands down. Mm -hmm. And look straight. Beautiful. Now bend your arms again. Let's do one extend and one straight. Yeah. Or uh, oh, bend. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. One, two, three. Gorgeous. One more time. One, two, three. Perfect. From here, what I would like you to do is to lean forward with your arms. Uh, let's do it. Let's extend them. So you're going to be on your knees. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And extend your legs a little bit. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. And another one as well. So they're gonna be, your, your knees are on the same level. Perfect. Yeah, and you can do uh, one arm a little bit bent. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's perfect. And one straight. So I need you to point your, your toes. Beautiful. And you can bring this leg maybe a little bit extended. Yeah, so we would see two triangles instead and lift it up one of them. Yeah, that's perfect. So what's happening here is, yeah, let's do just like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And you're gonna look straight at the light. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I love everything. I just want to, to change position of this arm. So what, yeah, either they should be straight or, yes, yeah, see, uh, position them in a way that would be comfortable. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. That's that's perfect. Okay. And now again, I want you to extend one of your legs and create that triangle, beautiful triangle. Yeah, right there. Okay, ready? And arch your back. Arch more. Perfect. Close your eyes. Tilt your face tiny bit towards the camera. Right there. Yeah, love it. Hold it. One, two, three. Perfect. One more time. Look, uh, open your eyes. Look straight. Yeah, perfect. Gorgeous. Okay, relax. Beautiful. So, from here, um, we will do similar pose to what we've done on the chair, um, but just by using uh, the bench. So, I want you to place your leg bended. Place it right here. And just extend your leg. Uh, or another thing that we can do is the same position, um, but leaning a little bit towards uh, the light. Oh yeah, just like that. Yeah, I love it. Hold it. Let me just fix your hair really quick. That's beautiful. And uh, I want your foot, yeah, to touch your leg. Yeah, gorgeous. Hold it. And I think this is the perfect angle. I know, I, I'm gonna do it fast. One, two, three. One, and turn your face more towards me. Yeah, right there. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I know. One, two, three. We're done. Good, thank you. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, I know, it's not an easy pose. 
All right, from here, I want you to lay down on the bench. So let's do facing that side. Yeah, you're gonna be laying on the bench, just like that, yes. And I'm gonna be standing over there, so I need you to, this is one of my most popular poses, by the way, that I use for clients. So, and I want you to turn your face a little bit more that way. Uh, we will create triangles with your legs and with your arms. So I need you to be one leg, go a little bit away, just like right here. And another one, um, either here or it's again, however is more comfortable for you. Yeah, so maybe, but uh, as long as they're not on the same uh, level. Yes, what is very important is to keep uh, knees together, not apart. Yes, that's, that's perfect. So we'll create one triangle with this arm. So this one goes over here and one goes right into your hair, right there. So not only we frame it, frame your face into this triangle. Yeah, just like that and put it right like softer mm -hmm. perfect can do you think you can bring your chin all the way up so your face would kind of like fall fall down instead bring your body closer to yeah, i think mm -hmm. yeah yes right there and turn towards me like that yeah, that's more comfortable, right? Okay, that's perfect. So that is a perfect pose for boudoir. And I usually capture it from different angles and from different angles, it looks differently. So just relax this. I want it to go kind of to your hair a little bit more. Uh, what if you, it goes even higher? So I can see it clearly. Yeah, right there. And bend your wrist. That's another triangle right here and relax your hand. Okay, you ready? Arch your back. One, two, three, perfect. I would probably extend legs a little bit more. Yes, right there. Okay, one, two, three. Bring your arm up. Yeah, a little bit relaxed. Yeah, right there. Okay, one, two, and uh, the other hand, the right one, the right hand, just relax it. Relax and bend. Yeah, yeah, just like that. No, 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 lower, 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 lower. Yeah, relax it. Mm -hmm, perfect. Uh, I want to see your fingers a little bit more. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Just relax it, relax it. Yes. You want to see more fingers. You can touch touch uh, your hip or yeah, just like that is perfect. Okay, one, two, three, beautiful, and one more time. Now I'm gonna move and photograph you from this angle. So from here I'm gonna go and um, bring a lateral or we'll use this chair, and I'll do one shot from above. So the same thing, it's just gonna be mostly your face. Oops. Ready? Gorgeous. And one, more time. one, two, three. I see the shadow that creates, um, that this arm creates. What if we move it a little bit lower or tilt your face even more towards me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bring it in now. Bring it in. Like this. This is what it, it is. Yeah. So. Right there. That's the light that was creating shadow for me. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And now open your eyes and look at me. Perfect. All right. 
What do you like to read? Magazines or books? <laughs> Let's do magazines. Um, I'll bring my magazines here as my prop. So I have a bunch of different magazines in my studio. I have books. I have different type of props that I usually use for my photography purposes. And we're gonna create some uh, cool, a cool shot with Jennifer. And like she's reading a magazine while falling down from the bench. So now I'm gonna explain you how we do this shot. Okay. So what I want you to do is, yes, you, you're gonna uh, place, yes, sit on the bench, and then from here, you're gonna fall <laughs> down the bench, and I'm, give, I'm gonna give you, so your hair should be on one side, on this one, because I'm gonna be standing there. I still need to see your face. That's beautiful. And uh, whenever you're ready, I'm gonna count till three. Yeah, you, you put your, Wait, yeah, that's beautiful. And we will create two more triangles with your legs. So separate them just like that. Uh, let's do them straight so we don't cross them. We just keep them straight and away from each other. Yeah, just like that. And point your toes. I'm gonna give you a magazine to read. Okay. And We'll move your hair. It's going to be difficult. Is it okay if I move your hair yeah. to that side? I don't know how it's going to look because you park your hair on this side. So <laughs> that's going to be... Okay, let me see. I don't want to make your um, hair messy. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's good. And I like this, even how it falls down, this curl. That's beautiful. So just tilt your face a little bit more towards the camera. That's beautiful. And I need some light on her face. Or let me bring it here. Are you okay in that position? <laughs> You've done that before, <laughs> so... Okay, I think it looks beautiful. Let me position myself. And I'm gonna count on three. You just point your toes. And yeah, just like that, it looks perfect. Okay. One, two, three, point your toes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I love it. I'll do different angle. Are you okay? <laughs> and I'll fix your hair. Oh yeah, I love this angle. Perfect. That's so beautiful. I'll point your toes and bring that leg. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's that's perfect. Hold it. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Love it. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, relax. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Let's see how many poses we did. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we did approximately uh, eight, nine poses. 
And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please let me know what you think about this video. Uh, ask your questions, write comments. I would be happy to read and answer all the questions that you have and maybe something that you would love to see in my future videos. Thank you, Jennifer. You did an Thank amazing you. job as always. Uh, please guys, follow her on Instagram. I'm gonna add the link below in my description. She's amazing and you can look through other uh, projects that she's done before. And uh, I hope it was very useful for you to see uh, my posing flow and what we do here in the studio and what poses uh, we use for models and for clients. And if you like, uh, please um, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time.